God again. Let's drink another margarita and talk about how to install VBA modules uh, via your Excel interface. So uh, this video is related to the video I just finished creating uh, that was all about a tool that I built in Visual Basic to help you uh, take your AWeber.csv list outputs and format them automatically using this tool so that you can then use them over in AdWords to create remarketing lists. And so, as promised, I'm delivering on this video. All right, so uh, I've got my Excel application open, and by default, when Excel uh, uh, is installed, uh, there's going to be a tab that uh, is does not appear on your main menu that you're going to need here. Uh, there's actually two ways you can actually... Let me back up a little bit and explain that. Visual Basic is a program, it's an object-oriented programming language that runs in the background with all the Microsoft Excel, or excuse me, Microsoft Office suite of applications. And so we want to be able to access the Visual Basic environment uh, so that we can install the code modules that's going to allow you to run those uh, neat tools that I talked about. All right, so uh, there are two ways to access the Visual Basic environment from within Microsoft Excel. The first is to, to hold down the Alt key and hit the F11 key. That, I'll just have to drag that over, uh, this is your Visual Basic environment. Um, now I'm going to show you the second way to access the Visual Basic environment from within Excel. And to do that I'm going to hover right here above this uh, quick access toolbar and I'm going to go to customize the ribbon. By the way, I right click on this area and I go customize the ribbon. Okay, so right here in this pane, you're going to notice that I've got a bunch of check boxes. And these correspond to the various uh, menu items that are currently displayed on the Excel application ribbon. And right here, you'll notice one that's not checked called developer. I'm going to go ahead and check that and hit OK. And you'll notice now that I've got a developer tab here on my Excel menu. So if I click the uh, developer tab, right here I can access the Visual Basic environment. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now, by default, when you first start your Excel application, uh, you may or may not have your personal.xlsb file open or enabled. It's actually open, but uh, it may not be visible is how I should put it. Uh, so if it's not, you're, you're going to want to go to the View tab and you'll hit the Unhide button. And you notice right here that it shows that we can unhide the personal.xlsb workbook. And so we want to make sure that that workbook is visible because if it's not, we can't work on it within Visual Basic. All right, so you can see here in this pane, and by the way, if this is not open, this is the Project Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and close these and show you. Uh, if this is the, the look that you get when you first open Visual Basic, you're going to go to the View tab, and I want you to go ahead and enable the Project Explorer, and that's going to open up this pane, which basically is going to show you all of the Excel files or documents that are open right now in Excel. And the one we're concerned with here is uh, the personal.xlsb uh, file. All right, so uh, you're going to see three folders here. Uh, there's a folder from Microsoft Objects, which uh, pertains to the current workbook. Uh, we have a forms folder. That's for user forms. And we have a modules folder. Okay, uh, we're going to install first the module that uh, we need for the AWeber utilities for AdWords remarketing files. And to do that, I'm just going to um, right-click on the modules folder. I'm going to go import file. And right here, uh, I've got on my desktop a folder that I save these files to. 
and I want the .bas file. This is my code module. So I'm going to go ahead and add that, and you'll notice right here it's been added. The AWeber lists for AdWords. All right, and also you're going to find in your download uh, list a, a, a couple of files that have to do with forms. Uh, and so we're going to import those files as well. Uh, they're actually two separate files, but from the interface, they're associated, so they're only going to show up in this list as a single file, the .frm. So we're going to click on that and import that. So you see here we have a user form uh, underscore list link. And be sure, guys, uh, when, before you close the Visual Basic environment, go ahead and hit this little save icon right here. Um, if you don't do that, then it then Visual then the personal .xlsb file is not going to save those changes you made. Uh, that is adding the module as well as the years of form. So be sure you click that save icon up there. And if prompted to do so when you close Excel. Do you want to save the personal.xlsb file? Make sure you select yes. And now we're just going to go ahead and test this. Uh, so I'm going to go grab one of my uh, Excel files or my, my .csvs from Aweber to work on this. And let me just navigate to that real quickly here. And I'm going to grab this list right here. All right, once this list is open, you guys, if you watched that last video on, uh, on uh, this particular tool, this automation function for uh, creating remarketing lists for AdWords, great. If you haven't, go check that list out so you'll know what this application is all about. And right here is our format AWeber list for AdWords launch button. Now, I am going to, you know what, I'm going to go through this because that's not going to be on your interface when you first install this. So I'm going to right click here on the uh, quick access toolbar and I'm going to go to customize quick, Sa quick access toolbar. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this because this is old. So in order for you to install that little launch button, on the quick access toolbar that's associated with the code module you just installed in Visual Basic, here's what you're going to want to do. Uh, go here to this drop down list and click the macros button. And you're going to see all of the macros that are associated with my personal.xlsb file. Format a Weber list, that's the one. All right, going to add that. Now, here I can modify both the display name that's going to appear on the on the ribbon as well as the icon all right so here i'm going to call this i'm going to call this aweber tools for adwords all right and i'll just go up here and select oh gosh this is always the hardest part picking the cool icon right um, I'm just going to pick the same one I had and go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see it's been added here to the list of icons that are already dis displayed for macros in my uh, custom quick access toolbar. So I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And right here, if I mouse over it, AWeber Tools for AdWords, that button is going to launch the code that we just installed. So let's go ahead and do that. You notice here we need a country code for uh, the Marianas Islands. I remember what that is. It's MP. There's a couple of more here. Uh, we need one for Hong Kong, HK. And we need one for China, which is CN. And I think oh, we still have Spain as well, ES. Again, uh, these codes are uh, provided via a list available for download. Uh, I'll put it in the description here as well, but available for download in the previous video on these tools, uh, as well as via this 
uh, link, this AdWords Country Codes button actually will launch your browser in a separate window and take you to the page where you can either use AdWords Online Tool for searching up, uh, searching those uh, particular country codes, or you can download the list as a file. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter, and there we go. The routine is finished. We've got a completely formatted file ready to go into AdWords to create our remarketing list. Hope you found this video helpful. Uh, it's Scott here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.